Man, it's hard to keep up with this guy. We're back with another episode of Pokemon Coliseum. We're here in beautiful scenic Phoenix City. Uh, yeah, so sorry to suddenly be somewhere else from the previous episode. We're in a snag and hideout, but off screen, off camera rather, I did a bunch of stuff. Because I had a lot of free time uh, in, well, no, I didn't have a lot of free time, but in between recording sessions, I spent my free time playing this game most of the time. I said the word time a lot. So as you can see, everyone is like level 58 and 59. And what I've done, I've been through Mount Battle. I've been through all levels except the last one. And I've been to every one of the other three Colosseums. So I've been to this one here in Phoenix. The one in Pyrite Town and the one in the Under. And I've done all the levels except the last ones of those. So today, we're going to go ahead and finish off all these Colosseums to get them out of the way and to get a bunch of cool TMs. Which I've actually got a load of cool ones already. But first of all, the only moveset change I think that has happened. Yeah, we got Ice Beam on Octagon. Much better than friggin' Aurora Beam. Still stuck with Bubble Beam for the water attack. I don't think you can even get Surf in this game, so it looks like you're stuck with that. But anyway, we've got some awesome TMs. So, before we get into anything else in this episode, we are going to go and teach these. As you can see, Focus Punch. Powerful, but makes the use of Flinch. I don't think I'll teach this, but just out of interest, I'm pretty sure uh, Bruce Chan... Bruce Chan can't even learn it. But Flowrider really can for some unknown reason. But no, we, we're we not doing with that attack. Raw. No, I don't think we'll need that. Sunny Day we already have. I mean, we could slap that on Blueberry. But that's just asking for trouble, I suppose. But Giga Drain. Now, this, this I would very much like to put on Blueberry. Which is what we're going to do. I don't think I've let the music ever reach this point. Why can Bug Eye learn Giga Drain? But Blueberry's been stuck with Mega Drain for such a long time. However, I think I want to keep Mega Drain for the reason that Giga Drain only has 5 PP. And it's pretty easy to run out of PP. I run out of PP on Mega Drain, so I'm sorry, Cotton Spore. It's been nice knowing you. We've used you quite a surprising amount, but I think now's the time. So you're stuck with two grass attacks. Preferably, I'd like you to learn a different attack, but oh well. Now, Shadow Ball. This could be useful. We'll see what can learn it, though. Um, only Dunny Boy can learn Shadow Ball. Now, that's still very tempting. But I don't know what I'd get rid of. If I was to get rid of any of its annoyance moves, I'd get rid of... Attract. Let me think about this one, actually. Why can't you see its stats when it's here? So yeah, it's like 80 power. I mean, a track could still be very useful, but I don't know if Toxic and Yawn is going to be enough anyway. I don't think it needs free, and if it comes up against anything that isn't resistant... Well, for example, if I came up against a Ghost or Rock type, I suppose I'd want something else. So I think, that being said... Well, I've done it now. It's nice having a tract, but I think I'd rather it have Shadow Ball. It's near the end of the game now anyway, so I might as well just make the use of it. And then we've got this Sludge Bomb. Uh, can anything learn that? Really? Octagon can learn Sludge Bomb? Awesome. I'll put that on you. And as good as Rain Dance is, I think I also is the time to get rid of that. Bubble Beam should be enough by itself if I'm going to use it. Alright. Awesome stuff, man. Awesome stuff. Okay, so we've improved the movesets of everyone considerably. Uh, but quickly, before we head into this Colosseum, I want to switch around Blueberry's moves, because it's going to bug me that Mega Drain is on the top slot. There, that's much better. Alright. So, as I said, first of all, we'll be going through this. The Phoenix Colosseum. Uh, I'm not going to show all of this last level. I'm going to get to the last battle and then you guys will see the last battle. So, I'll see you guys there. We're at the final. So, this has been one of the easiest things I've ever done in my entire life. And that's saying something because I have slacked off a heck of a lot in my lifetime. Everyone here has had like level 40 Pokemon and only two of them. 
Sorry, but I'm going with Belle for me! Yeah! Oh, crap. It's a teacher. This is serious business. You don't mess with no teachers. Yeah, but you can see what I mean. They have a Ladybird and a Staryu at level 40 and 41. Or are they both 41? Either way, my guy's level 59. But it's weird because both the other Colosseums are much higher level than this. There's nothing that, like, indicates at what point you should and shouldn't challenge these Colosseums. But whatever. <laughs> as long as we win now, that's all that matters. Yep. Man, Staryu is more flexible than I thought it was. I thought it was just like a rock solid starfish. And a Pichu. Oh, look, is that the first Pichu we've seen? It might be. But yeah, if you're using a Ladybird and a Pichu in your final battle, I suspect your competition needs revamping. <laughs> look at that. Like these two guys just dwarf them. Alright. So this thing's going down. Flame Wheel! Why did Bug Eye move first this time? Oh, and a critical hit. As if it needed to do that. Come on now. Alright. Well, that's one of the three down. Excellent stuff. I suspect this episode's going to be mostly off-camera stuff, bringing you back in for the final battles. Aye! How infuriating! <sighs> Thought we are never going to defeat that teacher. Congratulations! You're the champion! Your battles were fantastic! You've said that several times now. The victory means you have won the 9,020 poker dollars of cash prize. You must have a lot of money now. And TM22. Which I think is Solar Beam? Yep, Solar Beam. Now, I could so do a Sunny Day Solar Beam combo on Blueberry. But I don't really want to get rid of... There's no two moves I want to get rid of. I want to keep all these other things. Giga Drain. When it's got that, for example. Definitely not getting rid of Sleep Powder. Synthesis is very useful. Uh, and Mega Drain. Yeah, we'll keep Mega Drain still because of PP. But Sunny Day is very tempting. Anyway, that was the first one. Oh, speaking of Blueberry, it's your turn. Do we switch into the front? And anyway, Flow Rider is Sunny Day. We can use that. So, it's time to go to the Pyrite Coliseum now. And I love this place. Why can we not stay here longer? It actually has some flowing water. But whatever. So, one down. Well, I suppose it's free to go because I hopefully today, I'm trying to get a lot of stuff done today. Hopefully we can also go to the Mount Battle and do the last one of that. Now that'll definitely be the hardest challenge of them all. Oh yes, it'll be the hardest challenge of them all. I'm going to use a Pokeball. That'll do. That'll suffice as my rhyme of the day. But anyway, we're here at the Pyrite Coliseum. And once again, I'll bring you guys back when we get back. I love how the music just turns to being like all this serene, generic menu music. But anyway, yes, I'll see you in the final. Final battle! Now this has been almost as easy as the last one. The only difference is that the levels are higher, but they still use unevolved Pokémon, so no real worries there. But I've had a good time to test out Blueberry's moveset. Hello, honey. You've got quite the reputation around these parts. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Damn it, you had so much dialogue. Alright, Rider Hell. Oh, hello. These are evolved Pokemon, though. This is more like it. Damn, Electrode. Just having bad flashbacks to my latest Nuzlocke challenge. Alright. So... Lunatone is getting Giga Drained. I so love that you have Giga Drain now. And then I guess we'll dig the Electrode. Because we can dig it. Ah, oh, protect, really? Get out of here. Man, that... Well, yeah, of course Electrode's faster and Lunatone just uses protect. Oh, God, you've been screeched. Ah, oh, it hurts so bad. Wear your ears, anyway. Okay. So we'll try that again. Giga Drain the Lunatone. Oh, you got to be kidding me two times in a row. Get that thing out of this place. Hello. That's why he has Protect. Well, Blueberry's dead. 
thankfully, Flow Rider was digging at the time. So we're okay. And the Electro's dead as well. Now, we were digging something. That Flow Rider's still 60. <laughs> flame for Hell yeah, you're getting this. It's about time you got something better than Flame Wheel. Oh man, I can't believe it. Flamethrower? Ice Beam and Flamethrower we've got now. Finally, it only took until we'd beaten the story, but our moveset's finally coming along amazingly. Now, interestingly, Flowrider will dig the next thing they send out. Uh, we'll use Octagon. It's the next thing in line. And we can test out Ice Beam slash Sludge Bomb. Or Machoke. So that's the thing that's getting dug. Oh yeah. Won't do that much damage though. Uh, what we can do is we can side beam the Machoke. Um, you can't really do much. We're gonna switch you. Ooh, we can use Shadow Ball actually. That would be something. Actually, Octagon will probably attack first, but still, the fort is there. Oh yeah, Dunny boy. Yeah, I don't regret getting it Shadow Ball now. Especially since a lot of things seem to be genderless. Alright, that Machoke's out of here. Get out of my town. Alright, good XP, good XP. That Lunatone's just floating around like no one's business. Oh, you have more Pokemon. I did not realise this. I uh, probably should have kept it in Flowrider because of Dig, huh? Or I guess not. Okay. So here's what we'll do. We... Uh, bubble Beam that... You know what, let's just test out Sludge Bomb to see what it looks like, and then you can Shadow Ball Lunatone. And let's see how that looks. I don't think we've seen either of these attacks. Bleh! Ah. Hopefully that poisons it as well. Yeah! Excellent stuff. Uh, you might die this turn due to electric attacks, but we'll see. Ow! Why is it no rock throw at this level? Alright, Shadow Ball, let's see how much this does. Oh, I think we have seen this a few times. Holy, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That Lunatone loves a bit of a spin around. Bit of a jig, bit of an old hoedown. And that did quite an amount of damage. Uh, but hopefully we can take it down this turn with Bubble Beam. And if not, then you're screwed. Uh, but we'll shadow that Lunatone and get that thing out of here as well. Oh, it just lived. It'll die this turn, but we may lose... An octopus. Man, yeah. Why were all the battles not like this? I'm actually losing Pokemon here. Um, Bruce Chan? Why not? You need the XP. You always need the XP. I don't know why. You always seem to most be the most underleveled of things. Even though I always seem to use you as well. Alright. It doesn't matter anyway. Because you will perish this Shadow Ball. Man, Dunny Boy just got a heck of a lot darker. Alright, down goes Lunatone. What the heck is life like as a Lunatone? Just a thought. It has no appendages. How does it get around? How does it do things? Anyway, the Ampharos is dead. <laughs> get that thing out of here, and we've won the battle. And taken the Colosseum! I don't know why I really like these two guys combined together. It's two really underused things. Also, they were both a part of a previous team I had on my Crystal version. And that was an interesting team. It was full of, like, underused Pokemon, like Ursa Ring and stuff. But anyway, you battled fabulously. You Are you just a clone of the other people? Do they clone receptionists for Colosseums? And you seem to have given me less money. Maybe it's because I had some Pokemon faint. Maybe that is based off something. And anyway, we've got a TM. Now, if this is what I think it is, I'm going to be a very happy man. Oh, Brick Break. Excellent. So, after all this time, I can finally get rid of friggin' Triple Kick on Bruce Chan. You will no longer be free time Chan, but you'll be awesome because you can break friggin' bricks of your fists or your feet or whatever the heck you broke it with. All right. So, we're getting rid of Triple Kick. Yeah, Triple Kick is not a move for me. <laughs> I've established that. Okay, finally you have a good fighting attack. 
and I've been thinking about it. Now, Solar Beam, I might want to put on Blueberry, because Blueberry... I was considering, like, oh, I want to keep Synthesis, but if it has Giga Drain, it'll be able to heal anyway. But then I also thought it'd be awesome if you could put this on Flow Rider, because it already has Sunny Day, so let's see if we can learn it. It can't. Okay, well, that goes that plan. So we're going to put the Sunny Day Solar Beam combo on Blueberry. And that'll be good, because Sunny Day, Blueberry, and... Oh, what we get rid of? Solar Beam is the thing we have. Yeah, let's get rid of Mega Drain for Solar Beam. So yeah, Blueberry and Flora can help each other out by setting up the sun for each other. Which is cool. And Sunny Day, yeah. Yeah, it won't hurt to have two Pokemon have Sunny Day. And especially since we got rid of Rain Dance. Yeah, we don't need Synthesis. I don't think I've used that much anyway. And, you know, we have potions for that, even if Giga Drain runs out. Awesome. So we've got Solar Beam now. Oh man, our Pokemon are coming along amazingly! And you got Flame for that last turn as well, Flow Rider. Man, what's going on here? Alright, so Blueberry and Octagon will be the ones for us to go to the under. And we got Brick Break, man. Yeah. That's another kind of reason why I decided to do all of this gathering now. It's because we're near the end of the game anyway, and I want to test out all these awesome moves that we get everyone. You know, this is on my GameCube. So... I don't know what the method is of transferring Pokemon to future generations. To, for future generations. But in theory, we could get these Pokemon onto my Pokemon freaking X version. That would be amazing. <laughs> these guys deserve it, man. I love this team so much. Anyway, we're in the under. We're going to do the under Coliseum. I think we, we have to put in an F disc every time, I think. It's stupid. Who else uses this UFO device? <laughs> if they don't have the discs, why does it reset? I don't understand. Alright, yep, yeah, all systems set for travel, blah blah blah. Let's go. This seems like a very sophisticated and pointless method of transportation. We should just take UFOs everywhere. I've always said there should be some sort of cable car system in real life. Maybe a UFO system would work equally as well. Anyway, I suspect this will be more challenging, uh, but once again, we'll see in the final. It's the final battle! Do -do -do -do. Do -do 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 -do. So this is definitely a lot more challenging than the previous two, uh, but it's nothing we can't handle, and that's purely because my team is now awesome with all these new moves they have. I don't care about some wound named Venus, but I sure would have liked my own shadow Pokemon. I apparently sound like some sort of... 30s, almost gangsterish kind of person, despite being a small child. Okay, so yeah, my team is now very awesome with all the new moves it has. I suppose Solar Beam, I definitely don't regret putting that on because it's friggin' amazing, which I'm going to demonstrate right now. So, well, first we got to put the Sunny Day, of course. Um, Sludge Bomb's been pretty good too. Uh, we will first Ice Beam that Burnett. We're going to do our traditional stick of leaving the Wobbuffet in. So we can't switch out anyway. Uh, so let's just focus on the Burnett. Because that Wobbuffet can't do nothing to us, man. Excellent. Curse, eh? Yeah, yeah, one thing I forgot is that Sludge Bomb is actually a physical attack. Which actually is very, very nice. Oh yeah, Curse works differently in this game, doesn't it? Oh well, Blueberry's been cursed. Oh well. And knocked on self 60. Alright. Now comes Tentacruel. So yeah, it's very useful in situations where earlier, I mean, I came up against a Kadabra, which is obviously very special resistant. Uh, but I whipped his ass because he used to sludge bomb and KO'd it instantly. Third gen's weird like that. Fourth gen really revolutionized a lot. Okay, so we need to get. Blueberry's cursed, so actually I don't know whether I want to just go for the Wobbuffet. It's very risky. I'm going to go for it though. I'll show off Solar Beam in doing so. And then... Now, I suppose... If he uses Counter or Mirror Coat and I use Sludge Bomb because it's physical and Solar Beam, something's going to get hit, so hopefully I'm going to hope that it goes for Counter. Because it just did. So it goes to Miracle. Yeah, look at that animation. That's amazing. I love that so much. Alright, and that's Confuse Ray. That is not what we want to see. Tentacruel. 
I'm trying not to get Blueberry killed here. So much confusion in this place as well. Ah, we got Ice Beam off though. Hopefully it freezes it. We haven't had that happen yet. So close. Uh, if it doesn't use Miracle... Oh, damn it. It used Miracle. Why? Who's dying? Octagon. Oh, man. That's depressing. The Octagon was confused, so therefore the least reliable. Uh, we'll use Bug Eye. You know what? We're going to go out of order, because screw it. Bug Eye's the only Pokemon that doesn't have a new move. That's because its moveset already was pretty good. It has Earthquake, for goodness sake, and Dragon Breath. Oh, we've got to get Blueberry out of here, man. Uh, we are solar beaming once again. We got a solar beam tentacle though, and then oh, we can earthquake, can't we? Ah, oh, yes. I didn't even realise this was a potential thing to happen. Bam! Oh yeah, that did a lot of damage. It was a crit, I suppose. Yeah, Ruby's attack still isn't the best, but you know, it's freaking solar beam and it looks amazing, and it's better than considering at the start of this episode. All it had as an attack was Mega Drain. Now it has Giga Drain and Solar Beam. <laughs> so that's what one episode can do for you. It's going to be a long recording session. I still need to go to Mount Battle after this. And that's going to take a long time. Alright, here's a Cradley. Alright, now we can get Blueberry out of here. Oh, I love Cradley's cry so much. It's possibly one of my favourite cries. It's just the sound. I don't know what it is. Okay. I will use Bruce Chan because it has Brick Break. Uh, and. I don't know, Steel Wing, that's super effective, right? It's sort of, I feel it's always good to keep an attack. Like, it's good to have a bunch of special attacks, but if you're a mixed attacker, it's always good to have just physical attack. Like Steel Wing, for example. And what is now Sludge Bomb on Octagon. I wouldn't have initially thought that Octagon's attack would be that great. But it's almost as high as its special attack for some unknown reason. I don't know why that is, but hey, who is complaining? Not I, my friend. Not I. Right. I don't know why I said that. I'm going to use Brick Break. Because Brick Break is awesome. <laughs> I want to see the animation for it too. I think we've already seen it several times. Alright, I used Crunch just so I could see the animation for Brick Break. I'm not going to lie. It'll probably survive now. Because Cradley is a defensive beast. But here we go. Plam! That'll do. Alright. Brick Break is, of course, useful for breaking barriers like Reflect and Light Screen. But whatever. We win! Excellent. Oh, winning wasn't possible. You're damn right it wasn't. Now stay down. Oh, no, we got back up. Never mind. I wonder what TM we get from here. I actually don't know what the TM is from here. Hello, Wench. You have had no participation in this episode at all. Keep it that way. Ice cream van in the background. You guys might be able to hear that. Keep out fabulously. Yes, I know. Not so much money this time, so it must have something to do with performance. TM23. Now, what's that? Is that Iron Tail? Oh, yeah. I am a sad person. Iron Tail's not very accurate, but we'll see what learns it anyway. Um, uh, Dunny Boy... Bug Eye. Is Iron Tail better than Steel Wing? Let's find out. They're both Steel Wing, 70 power, 90 accuracy. 100 power, 75 accuracy. As much as Iron Tail is a better power, I honestly prefer more accurate moves. So we're going to keep Steel Wing. Now, that's another reason why, because I, I think you can get like Hydro Pump and all that jazz and like Thunder and that. Uh, so I could theoretically put Hydro Pump and Octagon, but I'd rather have. Bubble Beam because it hits all the time as opposed to Hydro Pump, which it is hard but it could miss, and then if it misses then it, you take two turns to hit with what two turns of Bubble Beam would have done, if that makes sense. So you're better off, well, it's about the same odds really. I'd rather hit consistently than hit really hard but inconsistently. But anyway, we're done with that. Now, I'm going to save quickly and also get a new recording up because I've done a lot already and I don't want to suddenly lose all the data. So I'll see you guys at Mount Battle. Oh yes, we are here in Mount Battle. So, there's only 10 more trainers to fight here. And then we've cleared the entire place. I don't know what you get for that. I got a bunch of coupons actually uh, that I've amassed throughout training here. I've done a lot of it. Uh, let's see how much we have actually. We can get at least one TM, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we have 7,300. Uh, so, 
Or what do we have? Leftover. We could save up for one of these items. What do we want though? I don't really need a choice band. I don't need any of these. All these guys have good items. The only thing I'd probably want maybe is leftovers. Because we don't have anything of leftovers. And I mean, that could go well on Dunny Boy, for example. But we'll see. We don't really need it. Okay, so uh, as far as I know, this is Ice Beam, Thunderbolt, Psychic. I think actually Octagon can learn Psychic. Flamethrower. And Double Team. Well, for a start, we don't need Double Team. Um, yeah, I don't know if it knows Psychic, so we might be back here. Uh, whatever. And the other thing we'd get, because we already have Ice Beam Flamethrower, so it seems kind of redundant having having them twice. So, the only thing I'd get is Thunderbolt, and I think the only thing I can learn that is Dunny Boy. And I don't really want to put Thunderbolt on Dunny Boy. I think we're okay. Anyway, I'll just show you guys what Area 10 looks like. Go for it, Nefeshu! Once again, I'll stand here contributing nothing! Yay! Alright. Oh, there's like lava and everything. So, I'm gonna get through these loader trainers. Uh, and. Ooh, look at my slow walk. And then, once I reach the final battle, once again, I'll be back with you guys. Don't know why I leant close to the mic while saying that, but anyway, I'll see you there. Alright. I just defeated battle number 99. And let me tell you, there's some damn tough trainers up here. I almost got wiped out by this one guy who kept getting critical hits on me. But these guys are using like five Pokemon, but yeah, the next one is the very, very last battle. Now, I might actually want to think about what to send out. So I think I'm going to use the old Bug-Eye Bruce Chan combo, and so I'll detect with Bruce Chan Earthquake with Bug-Eye, so that I can get an Intimidate lowering of stats on any sort of Pokemon that gets sent out first that could be very dangerous. So here we go, here's the ominous long trek. Oh. Oh man. This cannot be good for health and safety. Who built this? How did it? they manage to do it? Oh man. Here's what I'm talking about. This... It's quite some scene right here. I think I'm ready though. This guy probably has six Pokemon. And yes, I am purposely walking slower just for dramatic, dramatic effect. Speak properly. Hello. Could just walk up and talk to him. Fair enough. Who permitted this place to be opened? Welcome. So good of you to have come. I'm Somek, the final trainer of Mount Battle. Now show me the results of your training. Don't hold anything back. Oh, I wasn't planning on doing that. <laughs> Crazy man. Oh, it even has this old screen. Oh man, this is going to be tough, isn't it? Mount Bellmaster. <laughs> All one word. A pincer and a clay doll. Um, okay. This strategy's not going to work here, is it? Ah, jeez. Okay. Something that can happen is I can still detect of Bruce Chan. Oh man, that didn't even work. He's four ahead, he knows me too well. Okay, so you're gonna crunch that clay doll. And you're gonna detect. Hopefully I don't need to use items, but I'm not counting on that. <laughs> I don't think I'm that good. But we'll see. Alright, yeah, I don't think that'll do too much. We'll see what these guys' attacks are. Okay, and a special defense fail, excellent. Pins is going for a damn earthquake, which is not going to hit anyone. <laughs> okay, works for me, and a psychic. Which, for some reason, you didn't go for Bruce Chan. That's mildly annoying, I'm not going to lie. So then, if you're going for Earthquake, I can't really... Oh man, both load each other special D. Okay. So in that case, I guess we have to go into Blueberry to avoid Earthquake with the whole flying typeness that you have going on. Oh, jeez. Alright, and hopefully this crunch will take it out, though. I, don't, I think it will fall just short. Oh no, I stand corrected. Well, that clay doll's gone. That means I won't get psychic anytime soon. 
And if his pincer uses Earthquake, that would be amusing if he sends out something weak to Earthquake. No, he's a Crobat. I suspect his whole team is like that. Yeah, no one's getting hit by that, my friend. Uh, but that, Crobat is not great. Crobat is not great for Blueberry. Um, so, we, I can't really get rid of that pincer. That Crobat could be very lethal. It's probably going to go for a poison attack. I don't have anything to counter that, really. But what can we do here to counter the pincer and the crowbat? I guess Flow Rider is what we'll have to do. Because we can definitely flame wheel the heck out of that pincer. And then we'll do. Oh no, wait! It has Earthquake, doesn't it? Well, this may have been a poor move. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't think about that for some reason. You're gonna probably actually you might live because it's not the same type of attack bonus and it hits everyone, except it doesn't, but that's the idea. I think it negates some of the damage. It may be okay. And we paralyzed it anyway. Okay, you've gone for a rock tomb. That is pretty bad though. Ah okay. Ah, ain't nothing. Flora has got this man. Okay. So one flame wheel should take care of that pincer. So we might want to try and paralyze that Crobat. <laughs> flame Wheel. Don't have Flame Wheel anymore. I got friggin' Flame for her. Oh, Flow Rider, hold on. Oh, you're poisoned. You're going to faint this turn, buddy. But I don't see any reason why you can't take down the Pincer whilst fainting. It'll be a, a heroic last man effort. And he didn't use Earthquake anyway, it turns out. Come on, Paralysis. No, no dice. Okay. Man, I think that's the first time you guys have seen Flamethrower actually, on screen. Flamethrower is friggin' awesome. It might not be, I don't remember. I've been I've been recording a long time. <laughs> okay, and a Gliger. It was nice of you to have sent out what I know is next, because Flora is going down. Now I know I can use Octagon on that Gliger. Okay, we might actually get through this without needing items. The way things are going at the moment, they're okay. But he must have sent out Gligar for a reason. Maybe he's just trying to use Earthquake, not realising that he was about to faint. Alright, so we'll stick with that. Gligar and Crobat are very similar Pokemon in terms of looks. Definitely not in terms of actual ability, because Crobat's really speedy and frail, but Gligar is much more defensive. Okay, a Paralysis would be very nice right about now, Bug-Eye. That is what I'm talking about. Uh oh. Okay, hopefully we can take this. Okay, yes, yeah, no problem. And hopefully Ice Beam will take that thing out. I don't see why it wouldn't. Okay, yeah, these guys are just about at our level. Alright, Gligar's down. Whew. Alright. Is that 100 written in blood? <gasps> Flygon! Well, that thing is no waste in here. Right, I'm sorry, it has to. I have to always do <laughs> a mirror match whenever they arrive, and nothing else can participate unless one of the things faints. So, Octagon, although Ice Beam would take down that Flygon. Uh oh, you know Dragon Claw, that's not good. No, you lost the mirror match. The good news is, is we've probably got rid of that Crobat. Um, nothing I have resists Dragon. But now seems like no. I think now he's Donny Boy. We're doing okay though. Ice Beam should take out the Crobat. And then we're in Easy Street, hopefully, depending on what you have next. As you have like a Mega Evolution Pokemon somehow. Alright, Crobat's down. Good news. Man, when I started recording, it was really bright. And now the sun is set and everything. <laughs> and I can barely see what's going on. Well, Gyarados, that... You know what I mentioned before about Thunderbolt? That would be really nice about now. Okay. Um, we'll yawn that Gyarados, because it could do something lethal. But we'll Ice Beam that Flygon. That Earthquake is not very good, is it? But Danny Boy can take it. I don't know whether Octagon can. Oh, just about. Now, hopefully... Octa oh, Dragon Dance. That's terrible. It's a really good thing that we went for yawn. Man, that Gyarados flailing about like a crazy person. It's a good thing we're putting that thing to sleep. Alright, and that Flygon's down. We should probably have just Ice Beamed it. Instead of going for the mirror match. 
Okay, I think he has one more Pokemon. I think I'm right. Or maybe Gyarados is his last Pokemon. Alright, that's fine. Alright, this might be easier than anticipated it. Although he has just Dragon Danced. Uh, so we might want to just get that thing the hell out of here. Um, what's the best attack for this? Ice Beam, I guess. Oh dear. He missed! What a fool! You know, if we get a freeze, that might even be better than sleep. We haven't got a freeze yet. We've been frozen several times, but we've not ourselves got the opponent frozen. Alright, and it's asleep. Okay, we've got this man, and no items were needed. Woo! This is what I'm talking about, guys. This is amazing synergy that we've got going here. Once again, Donny Boy is going to get the final say. Donny Boy is an amazing Pokemon. You guys don't even know about how good Dunsmith is. Unless you've watched every episode of this playthrough, in which case you do. We won! We did Mount Battle! Kalu Kale and whatnot. Mount Battle Master, Somek. Stupendous. You are totally not a reskinned bodybuilder, or are you? <laughs> oh well. This is fantastic. I say fantastic. You had to be to defeat me. Now I'd like you to have this. Ooh, very nice. Congratulations, but don't be content with this. Don't neglect your training. Yeah, I would love to. What happens if you say no? You're going to walk back. No. No, I didn't actually want to do that. <laughs> I just assumed there was something round the back. Let's find out if there is. You never know, man. You never know. Or does this just go nowhere? Was there really no reason to... Oh, uh, okay. I was kind of hoping there'd be like a Master Ball hidden behind here. But, oh well. Not that I use the ones I have. <laughs> but there you go. Those are some gigantic screws. Look at those. It's crazy. Anyway, this place is pretty bad for your health by staying here for too long, so... If you don't mind, I'd like to get back to the registration counter. Where is this Abra? Oh, where did he come from? Alright. Ah, uh, I'm blind. Thank you for taking the Mount Battle Challenge. Please come back for more training. How about no? How about that is probably the last bit of training we're going to ever need to do in this game ever again. Because, <laughs> ah, oh, man. I'm happy, though. I'm very happy. Because we just won! We just beat Mount Battle. Uh, and I was planning on doing something else this episode. But that's not going to happen because I've been recording for hours. Uh, so, oh, hello, guys. You come into Crowd Round of Victor, or maybe you're just interested in Wench. Typical males. But anyway, I'm going to call it for there. Next time, we're going to get back on track and get back through the Snagum hideout. Or are we? Huh? Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Toodles.